Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, I will explain data types available in Java. So in uh, Java, there are uh, for integer there are four data type: byte, short, int, long. For real number, we are having float double character. We are having a character data type, and a new type of data type uh, that is boolean, which is not available in C. So we will see uh, one by one all the data types. So uh, first we will see integer type of data type. So first one is byte. So this data type is a integer. It will store integer value, and this type has data size of one byte. So we can declare a variable like say. So now we are done with declaration of byte variable. Now this is the data size is one byte. Now we can find out range of this variable, uh, how many value range of values which can be stored in uh, variable of byte data type. So, uh, so in so this is the data size for a uh, variable b is one byte. It means eight bits. So if you want to find out how many value it can support. Uh, the number of value can be find out to the power number of bits. So here we are having number of bits 8. So to the power 8 is 256. So this variable can store total 256 values. So if, if we start from 0, so it will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 till 255. For detail, uh, you can go to this uh, link in this website jgan.com. And here is a explanation is given uh, for byte data type. We are having eight bits, and every bit can store only two values, either zero or one. So first bit it can store total two values. Second, it can store on total two values. So in this way, we can find out total number of combination, which is to the power twenty-eight, and we will get two fifty-six. So the total, the range of values will be 0, 1, 2, 3 till 255. Now this range is only for positive number. We are considering that we are not storing any negative number. So this is to, uh, this range is only for positive number unsigned. But in case if you want to see the range for negative number as well. So in case of signed value first bit is actually used to store sign information whether the number is positive or negative so if we can so in case of byte if we reserve one bit for sign information then the number of bits left are seven so seven bits can represent total number of value 128 so we can say 128 value will be positive 128 value will be negative so 128 value negative minus 1 minus 2 till minus 28 and 128 value in positive size which will be 0 1 2 3 till 127 so we can say we can store value in this range now my question is that uh, you might think this one what happen if we try to store a out of range value for example here we are saying the range of byte variable is minus 128 to 127 so what with, uh, what will happen when we try to store a value after this range so we are trying to store a value which is 128 so we will see the we will print this value so in java uh, you can print any message using system dot out dot println method so here we are printing value of b and we want to see what actually it will store because we are trying to store a out of range value so we will compile our program so income possible lossy conversion from into byte so uh, the problem here is that 
uh, it is saying incompatible type possible lossy conversion from int to byte so one you need uh, one thing you have to understand whenever you write any number in java by default that number is considered as integer okay so 128 this will be considered as integer and this side we are having byte now int data type has 4 byte data size and byte has 1 byte data size that's why compiler is giving error because we are trying to fit a 4 byte information into a 1 byte container but uh, let's say we want this conversion so we can do type conversion this is a type casting so again we compiled now there is no error so here if you can see the answer we are getting is minus 128 and why is that so if you will see here the range this range actually works in a circle uh, consider a circle starting from 0 then uh, left side minus 1 minus 2 and so on so minus is 127 so we are, we are saving 128 in variables so what it will do it will think ok 128 will be value after 127 and in order to find 128 it will go again in this side it will come this side so the next value of 127 will be 128 and the next value of 127 is minus 128 so it, it actually works in a circular fashion same as if we try to store minus 129 so that value will be considered as 120 7 so if we store here minus 129 so these value works in a circular fashion so it is 127 so instead of going out of range out whenever it will uh, it is there is a value out of range those value it will consider in this side and if there is some value out of range in this side it will come this end to find those value so this is the <coughs> uh, byte data type uh, with one byte data size another one is short data type and this data type has two bytes data size the data size for this variable uh, this data type is two byte so if you try to compile this probe uh, now there is no error uh, and so so similar way you can find out uh, range for short data type and the next uh, two are int and long so int data type has 4 byte data size and long data type has 8 byte data size now next two data types are for real number one is float one is double so declaration of float and double same as in c uh, float a 1.2 now here you have to remember one thing whenever we write any real number in java that real number by default is double so what here we are doing we are assigning a double value to float which will create a problem so in order to make this literal float we have to put a f at the end of this value so float a equal to 1.2 f so now this value become float double if we are making a way so here there is no problem because this value is double we are assigning a double value into double variable and we can print these so we want to print double value as well D. We'll save it, and now we'll see our output. So both value got printed on the screen. So so far we have seen six data types, which is byte, short, int, long. These are these four are for integer. Float double. These are for real number. Uh, next is boolean 
so this data type can have only two values one value is true and another value is false so like this one accept these two value if you try to assign any other value like any number character string your compiler will report an error so if we are assigning uh, true and if we run this program so it will print true now if we try to assign something else like one so in this case uh, we will compile so at the compilation time we will get an error because boolean data type variable can have only boolean values and in java boolean values there are only two boolean values true and false so boolean data type only two values are possible true and false next is character so in uh, character in java is having two bytes data size uh, in c the character data type is having actually one byte data size it means uh, eight bits and uh, total 256 value possible but here this two byte and using character in java we can uh, store a huge range of characters that they can be used in java so the characters are enclosed in single quotation single quote and so here we have assigned a capital a in single quote compiled and run so a is printed on the screen so data type byte one byte short data type two byte int four byte long eight byte float four byte double eight byte character two byte boolean one bit only one bit is used for boolean now uh, with these data type uh, one thing you have to keep in mind uh, when we take a byte variable say i'm taking and then i'm taking okay so if i will compile this program so 12 is a integer but in the, uh, in range of byte that's why this time it won't create any problem now if i will write here a equal to a plus 1 now if i will compile it again now it is creating a error so the reason for this error in java byte and short data type the arithmetic operation cannot be performed on byte and short data type so if we are using a byte type variable or short type variable in a arithmetic expression that variable automatically promoted to integer type data type so here a is having value 12 so 12 first a will be replaced by 12 then 12 will be converted into integer type 12 so 4 byte will be allocated to this value now 12 integer data type this one also integer data type both will be added and result also will be integer data type so this side is integer this side is a byte we are assigning an integer data type value into a byte variable that's why it is creating a problem so if we perform here type casting it means result we are getting is integer but still we want to convert that integer result into byte so now it will not create any errors now if same concept you will write like this one and uh, so now it's not creating any errors the, the in the previous case when we are trying to increase value by one it is uh, making an error but now it is not creating any problem the reason is this expression in java actually performed like this one and this expression is actually
like this one so in pre increment and post increment type casting also included that's why it will not create any error so regarding data type keep in mind byte and short data type not supported for arithmetic operations so if there is any byte and short variable in expression they are automatically promoted to integer data type thank you very much